first bundle is from zip line and paragliding, connecting with people to photography sessions, do networking on bumblebees while also creating friendships through the bumble BFF is what I have done. When I am traveling around the world internationally by myself, I use Bumble for three different reasons. Yes, you can use it to network, yes, you can use it to make friendships, and yes, you can use it for dating. So just stay tuned as I tell you all the different reasons of why you can actually use Bumble as the only app that you need when you are traveling alone as your best friend, your partner, and also a mentor or maybe a job or for collaboration. Let's start out with dating because who wants to be alone at a table when they're eating by themselves. So when I'm traveling solo, this is how I use Bumble. Yes, take out your phones. You're gonna now make a profile onto Bumble and you're going to actually look at the criteria of people that you like, whether it be height, whether it be religion, whether it be education, all of those things you're gonna do. And then you're gonna decide about proximity and how close and how far away they are from you. That's what I do, but I love adventure. I'm an adrenaline junkie. So I love adventurous activities, so I'm always going to swipe onto the guy that's going to provide me with the most rush that I need. So that's what I do, swipe on the most adventurous guy so that I can get a rush while I am traveling. And just so y'all know, yes, maybe one of these days I'm going to find the guy for me because that's what I'm looking for. I've been single for a few years, so I want to find a guy so that I can actually share my life with and hopefully I'll find him one adventure at a time. So that's how you actually use the Bumble dating company. And I use it when I touch down and I land into a new city. When I'm traveling solo, I will also, after looking for a date, I will go onto the Bumble Biz component. Can find a job on Bumble. Yes, you can find a side gig on Bumble. Yes, you can find a mentor, an intern, collaboration for content creation. You can find all of that on the Bumble bit. And I will actually start trying to figure out, does anybody want to do any collaboration with me? That's what I use Bumble Biz for mostly, for social media marketing or for my brand, right? So I wanna see if anyone wants to do a collaboration with me, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be on Instagram, whether it be um, taking photos for me to update my blog or to update any of my feeds, whether it be for my Facebook page, photos for some of the online websites that I have. I use Bumble Biz for all of those things when I'm traveling so that I can update anyone that is a follower on any social media platform so that they can see what I'm doing in real time through stories and all of those posts that I create. So that's how I use Bumble Biz, but you don't have to use it that way. You can use it if you are looking for a job like I stated before. If you're on a solo vacation and you maybe want to pick up a side job, you can do it for all of those reasons and it's really good for networking. If you always wanted to get into something but you haven't been into that, you can get onto Bumble Biz for that. But I use it for content collaboration. I will look for friends so that I can participate in activities that has no romantic component involved in it at all. So I just want to be friends in a platonic way. So that's what I do. I like to you know, sit out on the beach. I like to actually do adventurous activities. I like to go hiking. I like to go to Broadway shows. I like to go to restaurants, brunches, all of those things. So I look for people that can help me in relation to anything like that so we can have fun together as friends. And if I'm also thinking about relocating to a new place, it's also good to find a friend in this new place so that you can now decide maybe where you want to live or not live based on their opinion. So that is what the BFF component is for, just for platonic friendships with nothing related to any sexual undertones. So that's how I use the Bumble BFF. And, and yes, I'm going to be honest, I have met friends while I've traveled solo, I have made business connections while I've traveled throughout the world. And yes, I have dated throughout the world with Bumble. It has helped me tremendously so that I am never alone when I am actually traveling. And that's what I want this position for, to network more. And I'll be honest with you, I have used Bumble in all ways when I have traveled. However, I am still searching for that person that will make my heart race in terms of adventure, which I hope that I could find with this position, as well as developing friendships with new people around the world with different cultures and different backgrounds than mine so that I can actually grow and learn as a person while I'm networking through my life.
with this opportunity, I will use Bumble so that I can hopefully find the person that's for me as I travel around the world. And I do not mind coming back around the world to find this person in the long run when everything is said and done, as well as finding new friendships around the world so that I can grow as a person and be more immersed in other cultures that are not of my own. And to actually obtain new side jobs when I am traveling around the world into these new places and these new spaces. I hope to be this global bumblebee ambassador so that I can bring my love of travel, my hope of finding the person for myself, my zest in meeting new people and new cultures, and also my belief that networking around the world will get you the most that you want out of life to maximize your opportunities if you want to be an entrepreneur and eventually work for yourself. So choose me, Shakira.